Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Um, someone's asked my brother, how do you use switches to turn something on and off, but to actually latch on and latch off? So what I've done, he wanted a set and reset switch. Uh, you can actually toggle and just use one. But for the uh, for this guy, I'm just going to use both switches. What he asked for. So this one I've set up. It's actually uh, this is actually a clock, but. I've set it up just so you can see what's happening. So we'll turn it, press bus on one, turn the relay on, it latches on. Now I've actually got uh, the live going to this lamp. So you can see it there. Got the live going to that lamp and the neutral coming out of the plug and running through this relay. So this is a 5 volt relay, about 5000 ohm resistance. So it's only drawn a few milliamps from this microcontroller. I'll show you the wiring diagram later. Yeah, so switch one turns it on, relay on, switch two, relay off. Um, right now, I'll just move the camera and show you the code. Right. Right, so here we go. This is uh, the code. It's uh, Microco Studios Pick Basic Pro. Uh, I'm running the. This is just an old microcontroller, so the 887. You see at the top left hand corner there. So if you're using Microco Studio, there's a simple way to just get the uh, switches working. So I've uh, just for the purposes of, of um, getting the LCD to read, I put set one as a variable byte and on power on set one equals naught otherwise if you turn a relay on you lose power the LCD is still going to say like on when it's actually off so don't really need to know that bit but so here yeah, are the important bits hopefully you're focused in adcom one equals seven all ports to digital well option reg so you want uh, port B pull ups so the internal pull ups inside the microcontroller so each pin will be uh, have a weak pull up to make it sort of 5 volts so it's actually um, bit 7 of the option reg so to make it easy I put the, I've used the binary equivalent so uh, if uh, page 21 which I've got here ready no I haven't got let me flick down to 21 21 option reg so look, port B pull-ups are enabled by individual port latch values, so it's zero. So that's all we actually want, bit seven, so zero and all the rest are uh, not applicable, so it's all naught, 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 naught. So get rid of that. So option reg, that's why what we're doing there, putting a naught there because we want the pull-ups. And then we're calling the switches variable, so switch one is a variable or port B naught, switch two variable, port B one, pin 3334. Now this, as I say, this is actually part of a clock program. So if I now run down to the actual, this is all, you don't need any of that. This is actually in the main loop. So if switch one equals naught, then go up, so go to subroutine, turn on. If switch two equals naught, turn off. So because of the pull-ups, Pins are uh, automatically high. When we press the switch, it shorts them out. If I'll just show you the wiring diagram. Quick wiring diagram I've, I've done. So 33 and 34, each one of those switches pulls it down the ground. Pin 23 is, uh, I believe, R port C pin four. Uh, I've got through the coil up to five volts. So five volts to the coil, then to the microcontroller, and then these either turn that pin high or low and that's a relay context. I've got the live uh, 240 volts going to the bulb and then I'm just breaking the neutral. So that's a simple way if you want to get yeah, some high current going off a pick microcontroller. Right so you saw this press the switches going to the subroutines on and off. So if I scroll right down the bottom Right, so these are the subroutines. So turn on, 
Uh, that's all we do. Load port C dot four, and for the you know for the LCD, I'm so set one equals one, and then once it turns that pin down to ground, it returns. And press the other switch, turn off. Says hi port C dot four, set one equals zero, and return. That's it. That's simple. So I'll move you back to the. You can actually actually yeah before I move. Hopefully I'm not going to run out of time. You could actually use one switch here. You could go toggle. Toggle. So that if I now program this. Right, if I reprogrammed it, just using toggle on this first switch. Uh, second one still turns it off, but this one's now going to toggle. And you'll see the problems if you've got a display and using the previous code let me demonstrate you will understand so if I now press the switch run one to turn it on now I can still press the same switch again it's going to toggle that port so if I press it again so it's now turned off but because I you saw the uh, the variable I was using for the LCD display it still says on so I can press button 2 and it says off but it actually was off so depends what you want to do if you just want one switch you can obviously sort out the variables and change them or just use two switches but on and off on off on or obviously toggle and sort out the code Uh, as I say, yeah, this relay, if I unplug it from the mains, and I can handle it, it's a Sherak Tyco uh, 5 volt, I believe the resistance, internal resistance, something like 5k, so it's only drawing now a couple of milliamps. Uh, this can actually handle 16 amps at 240 volts AC. Uh, I'm only using two contacts, they're actually in parallel this particular relay, so these two are joined, these two are joined, these are the normally open, and then this one and this one normally closed. But just simple demonstration. And I hope you find this video useful. Thank you very much.